här med morgonens musikgäst och som country älskar så är det ju liksom lite ståpälsläge idag om man säger så. Uh, I'm honored to have you here, Doug Seegers. Thank you, it's nice to be here. Emil Jonsson. Hey, go hey. on. Det blir lite engelska och lite yeah. svenska. I'm going to talk some English with her and some Swedish and... Ah, I hope that's okay, Doug. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Welcome to Nyhetsmorgon Saturday. Uh, it's an honor to have you here. And, and um, did you ever think a year, year and a half ago, that you would be here in Sweden and, and uh, sing with Jill Johnson? <laughs> Not in a million years. <laughs> Not at all, really. It was a... I don't know what it was. But uh, it's, a, it's a miracle for me, is what it was. <laughs> yeah. And just for for the viewers who might not have heard about you, I don't think that's true. But but if they hadn't heard about you, you were uh, you were homeless in Nashville. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was. And Jill heard you in uh, Jill's veranda. Yeah. Yeah. And after that, your life has taken a yeah, journey a friend, you couldn't imagine. A friend of mine connected me with Jill because Jill had phoned uh, somebody that ran a food pantry in my neighborhood. And they asked this woman, Stacy Downey, who ran the food pantry, if she knew of any street musicians. And uh, I was a friend of Stacy's, and that's how I was introduced to Jill. Yeah. Through a friend of mine. Jill, do you remember the first time you, you heard Dog's voice? What happened inside you? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's hard to put in words what happened, because I, I was just really touched instantly and started crying, and Magnus was the same. And I remember watching Magnus, if he reacted the same way. Because it it's yeah, not it very crazy. common that you feel that way right away, and, and it's not common that you uh, come across voices like that. No. And Magnus so. is Magnus Carlson from yeah, Weeping Willows, the Swedish band. Yeah, we yeah. just talked about it. Yeah. <laughs> and Dog, you, you have hits here in Sweden, you have toured Sweden, and now you're here again with this fantastic album uh, yeah. you've done together with, uh, with Jill. Uh, are we going to play some concerts together? Hopefully. We're talking about I it. We both gonna, want to. Yeah, I think we're going to. We're, yeah. you know, we're just busy doing our own things right now also, but yeah. we're going to figure it out. You know, we got to just get our dates in sync. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know? yeah, I wish we had some dates to share, but we don't. But we're yeah. talking about it. But, Doug, I must ask you, you, you're a star in a different country, <laughs> far away from America. How does that feel? <laughs> it feels good, you know. I mean, it's kind of funny, though, because after, last, after I finished last summer, I did 60 sold-out shows last summer, and, uh, and then I had some people coming up to me, and they said stuff like, uh, well, now you realize when you get home, it's not going to be like this, right, Doug? And I'm like, oh, shucks, that's right. <laughs> Yeah. So I got home to America and I was like, start from the ground up again, you know? Yeah. But you play shows in America as well? Yeah, yeah, we've yeah. been playing shows. We've been getting around a little bit there. I'm getting, you know, it's a lot of good write-ups and stuff like mm. that. And the response on the first record has been really, really great, really. Mm. Everywhere it has been good. I've been really, really blessed with the, yeah. the response I've been getting. I'm a great country fan and looking at the set list here on the, on the album, it's... <laughs> It gives me the chills, you know, it's uh, Emily Harris, it's his Everly Brothers, and yeah, the list goes on. Yeah. Uh, you have excellent taste. Jill, are you, uh, is this a different type of country that you, uh, rather than you've been singing before? Uh, well, first of all, he introduced me to a lot of new songs that I yeah. kind of heard somewhere back then, but not in my library of music. Yeah. Um, but I, I just love that he took me to deep roots and, and to real country and gave me the opportunity to really go all the way. Mm. Um, and, and I would say that most of the songs are picked by Doug because I really trust him and that's what I wanted to, to experience with him and, yeah. and I wanted that musical meeting. Uh, we, we heard Bowler to Birmingham before, an Emilio Harris tune. Uh, yep. And is it true that perhaps you and Emily are going to do some stuff together in the future? It's very true. <laughs> oh, I'm so jealous. I'm so jealous. Yeah, I'm I'm so was, jealous. Uh, I was actually over her house a couple of weeks ago because yeah. uh, she's good friends with my fiddle player, mm -hmm. uh, Barbara Lamb, and uh, she brought us over there. And uh, you know, that's one of the first things I bring up as soon as I see Emily. Lou, would you please want to help me on my next record? She yeah. was really, she was real nice about it, and I'm, I'm pretty sure she would be. Uh, feel good about you it. have to introduce Yil as well. That's right. We <laughs> do. Um, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. A couple of questions in Swedish now, Dag, if you excuse. Yil, <laughs> <laughs> ja, det känns lite annorlunda. Vi håller på med två språk här. Men, men yeah. jag tror många svenska också undrar om det blir mer Yils veranda. Ja, men det blir det. Ja. Det blir det. Jag är jätteglad för förtroendet. Ja. Mm. Och det var ju som sagt, tänk om du upptäcker ännu en stjärna som inte vi ja, vet om. Ja, alltså det är svårt att toppa mm. Dags story, verkligen. Mm. Men, äh, ja, men det blir andra. Det, det, äh, 
fantastiska gäster har vi fått ihop som har fina historier och allt kan hända. Mm. Uh, I think uh, Emily Harris would be proud if you heard Bol your version of Boulder to Burning Birmingham. I think she've heard it. You heard uh, it? I'm not, I don't know. I think I'm she did. Not, yeah, I, I heard some little it, no, bird okay. whisper that she loved it. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's that's great news. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Doug, uh, we have a we, have, we are quite proud of a, of a prize we have here in Sweden called uh, the Polar Music Prize, and this year it's awarded to to Emily Harris among others. That's wonderful. Yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah. So. Uh, I think she's coming to Sweden in a couple of months. That's yes. great. Yeah, That's you're going to meet her then, perhaps. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. Yeah. Stand outside the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, we're going to hear one more song. Yes. Can you tell us which one? Uh, so sad to watch good love go yeah, bad. Yeah, the Everly Brothers mm -hmm. uh, song. Yeah. That, uh, you know, I have memories of watching the Everly Brothers in my grandpa's living room. And, you know, what was amazing about the... Uh, the Everly Brothers back then was three generations watching the Everly Brothers, like the, the grandpa, the father, and us kids, we all watching the Everly Brothers. Wow. We all loved it. Yeah. So this is a journey for you as well. Yeah. Singing absolutely. Everly Brothers. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So thank you for coming, and I'm thank sure you. a lot of Swedes want to see you together on the road this yeah. summer. Yeah, we're going to so make much. it happen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> for sure. Give it a go then. Yep, thank yeah. you. Okay. Uh, sista låten alltså. So sad to watch good love go bad med Jill Jonsson och Doug Seegers. So sad. 